What's good, y'all? We back with another video. We back with another Courthouse Chronicles episode. And in this episode, we're featuring one of the originators from the first Courthouse Chronicles episode a little more than a year ago. Also, free B. Dot. B. Dot the fan proclaimed the king of the courthouse, king of 161. But let's get into it. We got TG on one side, and then we got Jay Rilla on the other. Jay Rilla, if you don't know, he's a Harlem Drill rapper. And his block is a cool with a couple other blocks in the Bronx, the Mitch. In Cortland. And with the 150s being from Cortland and being super close to the courthouse where they're spawn trapping at these days, Jay Rilla felt comfortable enough to post to his story that he was at the courthouse and would also post this caption saying, The scap always tucked at crazy if you want. Probably the best not to post that on the internet, but neither here nor there. Moving on. And after that post was made by Jay Rilla, another post by Jay Rilla would be posted to his story, but this time a video of TG and Jay Rilla yelling from outside the courthouse. JB Nazi! Yo, TG, suck my dick! Nazi! JB! Yo, pull up! Yo, pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! But Jay Rilla would also post saying TG just pulled a stunt in front of the cops. Cop emoji, laughing emoji. TG would respond to this saying, How I pulled a stunt, you walked right past me and did that. And when you ended the vid, what you did, none. Laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji. This goofy want clout, we gonna give him a little. And then Jay Rilla would wait for TG outside the courthouse and would be across the street from the courthouse doing the pacer test back and forth, waiting for TG to come out. And I'm still on that block, nigga. Still over here. Just be pulling stunts. Where to my mother, man? Gangsta. And then a little time after that video was posted by Jay Rilla, TG would post this video. Nobody touch me. Nobody touch me. He, he, no. I just want y'all to tell me what I did bad. And then after that was posted by TG, Jay Rilla would make another post to his Instagram saying, Somebody asked boy why he ain't walk up the block with me because he keeps saying he wasn't trying to miss court. Pretty sure he just answered his own questionnaire, but moving on. And then TG ended up making out the courthouse and off of 161. And instead of just going home, getting in the car and going home, he would take a little stroll through the Bronx and go to 3rd Avenue, which is only a couple blocks away from Cortland, not too far away from the courthouse. And this would confuse a lot of people because there's a 3rd Avenue that's close to Jay Rilla's block in Harlem. And after the whole incident today, Jay Rilla and fans would think that TG was walking on 3rd Avenue in Harlem. When he wasn't, he was walking in 3rd Avenue in the Bronx. Hey, I'm feeling different. I'm going to mission. Two goose and guns can't miss. But they hop in them shots though. I know what I would have thought of sister. My boy will be ducking. Are you acting because you took a gun? Let you act inside of the gun. Let's start acting like she went to Trump. Who that? And then TG would also post saying, was ducking in the corner store, laugh emoji, laughing emoji. Don't know who he was talking about, but hopefully everybody stays safe out here. Don't understand what TG's trying to prove. And then TG would post DMs between him and Jay Rilla. TG saying, obviously they're going to be on you if they see dummy. Jay Rilla said, tell your three mans come outside while you go see the judge. TG said, you made a movie and did none. Bro, just stay where you're at. Jay Rilla said, I bet I'm going to go get my G, my gym shoes. We could play basketball. And then TG would post a couple heartbreak emojis and say, this will get people 30 years cop emoji. Hmm. And then next, Jay Rilla would give a post-game interview and a play-by-play -play analysis of what happened earlier that day and give his thoughts on the situation. I'm like, pull up, walk down the block with me, you heard? I'm like, pull up, walk down the block. He fake start walking with niggas, you heard? Gangsta, he fake start walking with niggas down the block, go to court. Niggas fake start walking back now. That's when I backed out my phone, start recording that nigga. Start saying what I was saying. Word of my dad's when I stopped recording, he ain't even get close to me. Nigga wasn't even close to me to get a swing off or none of that. Untouched, I see I'm goo out. Word of my dad's. Niggas be really politicking. Niggas start pulling off stunts in front of the boys, making shit hot. Word of bro. Nigga made shit mad hot. I'm telling him, yo, come down the block. That's when y'all hear me say pull up. I'm telling him, come down the block, bro. Let's walk down the block. We could turn this corner and get, we could get active. You feel me? Nigga panicking. They four deep, it's me and my mans, we two deep. How y'all four deep and only two niggas outside? Word of my dad, nigga. He talking about, he, sent his, he told his mans to go upstairs. You do not tell your mans to go upstairs, stop lying. Your mans is panicking, word of my dad, nigga. Niggas is panicking, word of bro. 
on niggas. I'm like, yo, pull up, TG, pull up. Nigga not trying to slide, word of bro. Nigga wanna show up. As soon as I back my camera out though, nigga try to act crazy. World too bro grave, nigga. Niggas is not crazy, bro. Gangsta. Niggas be really acting for this media shit, bro. Niggas be bought. I told him we could get it on. Word of bro. I told him we could get it on. We could get the two men right now. We could get shaking right now. He talking about I got caught, bro. I gotta go to I gotta go to court. We could have went right 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 around the corner, got it on real quick. Could have went right to court. Niggas be bought. Gangsta. Niggas said TG hit me in that living night. Y'all niggas got it. I'm untouched. World too ratty. World too about death, like I just said. Wait, he ran up. He didn't even come close to me to get a swig. Like, he wasn't even three, four steps in front of me. He didn't even come close to me. Word about brother. Nigga wasn't even close. To close. Like, nigga wasn't even four, three steps to me. That nigga stood exactly where y'all seen him at on that footage. Word too bro grave. And I stood outside. 30 minutes after texting old boy, like, what's up? Send your friends downstairs, send your mans and them downstairs, and we can shake. Nigga was not trying to send niggas downstairs, bro. Niggas be bought and acting for this that shit, bro. TG, you're a bad boy. What about that? Could've that got it all, bro. Gig stuff. Nigga wanna be yelling in front of the cops. No, stop doing that, bro. Nigga, I stopped recording just in case he got that close. Nigga, I was gonna blast his face off. Word to my dad, nigga, I was gonna blast his face off, nigga, you stupid. What about that, nigga, TG is really fun. And then he gonna go and spend some peas, I don't even know. You didn't even spend my time. You trying to make it seem like he spent my time to make it look good, though. Damn, nigga. And I never let a man yell my man's name on camera. Never, nigga, I'm popping that bottle. Nigga, I'm untouched. Go up, word to bro. Who was paying the kids in their deli? And niggas ain't never had me paying the kids in no deli. You stupid, there's no video of me. It no deli, none of that. You crazy. You stupid. You must be dumb. Nobody ever caught me in no deli. Nobody got no videos running down over me. None of that. Nigga. You crazy. TG, what? I slap him. He did not spin back. He did not spin my side, but he spun some other peas to make it look good. So I'm trying to tell y'all, that was not my block. That he was spinning on his story was not my block. He made it look good for y'all. Whoa, y'all dead believe he spun my block. He did not spin my side, gangster. Nigga made it look good for y'all niggas, bro. Bro, I was telling him, come up the block. Why would I touch him in for the cops to get booked? I just came in there, get good news on my case, and my head with charge. Why would I beat on him with the scap in my pocket in front of police to get booked? Common sense. That's why I told the nigga, come down the block. We could get sturdy down the block, bro. Nigga want to stay in front of the cops and talk about he got caught when we could have been down the block getting sturdy. I want TG to get up here too so we could talk or live like pro bad and not chop about the situation. You feel me? Niggas could be real about the situation and what really went down. You feel me? Like, niggas not go go and politic. You feel me? I'm not gonna come over here and politic. I just told y'all the real story of what really happened. You feel me? Like, that's what really went down. Told a nigga pull up. We could have got it on. He ain't wanna slide. He talked about he got caught. Feel me, nigga wanna make shows in front of the boys. Nigga fix start walking back, back camera out. He wanna act crazy on camera now, cause he see, he see niggas recording. Now he wanna act crazy, you know. He was not acting crazy from the start when I first seen them at all. Once them cameras came out, he started acting crazy. Besides that, nigga was not acting crazy at all. What am I done? That's just his man. I ain't gonna lie, when he was walking with us, he was walking by his dolly. It's me and my man. I'm telling him pull up. We gonna walk down the block. He was fake walking with us by his dolly. His man's in them was in the court shit still. Then he walked back. One nigga came out. That's when he started acting crazy. Gig stuff. Besides that, he wasn't acting crazy. Ben was telling him, come down the block. We could shake. Nigga was panicking. He wasn't running. He wasn't running, but he was panicking. You feel me? He ain't running, but he was panicking. He wasn't trying to walk down the block with me and Bo to get it on. He was not trying to pull up the nigga. He ain't, he ain't run though, you feel me? But he was panicking. He was not trying to pull up the nigga to get it on. He just wanted to make scenes and make it hot. That's all he did was make a scene and make shit hot. Make the boys be on nigga. Then even after that, I stood on one six on the cross street waiting for the nigga. Let him know. Like I showed him, like I'm right here waiting for you. Like tell your niggas come downstairs. I was still on one six one, like 30 more minutes after that, waiting for the I ain't just do. Do that and spin off. No, nigga, I stood there 
showed him I was still there. He was texting me and all. I was texting him, like, I'm outside right now still. Like, showed him. I sent him a snap of the shit. Boom, I'm right here, gang. Tell your man's and them come down and see if I can show all this. Tell your man's and them come down and see if they can panic him. Whoa. Nah. And that was a great play-by-play -play analysis by Jay Rilla. Moving on, Jay Rilla would post to his Instagram DMs between him and TG. Jay Rilla saying, your mans was panicking. How y'all four deep and only two of y'all outside? TG said it was going to be a two-on-two to fuck. I told them go upstairs. I'm going to meet them up there. Y'all butt. Y'all look dirty and mad butt. Y'all ain't do sh**. Jay Rilla said, so why y'all ain't come down a block then if we was going to do a 2v2? And then that ain't the end of the DMs. Got a couple more screenshots. TG. Would say, first off, those CEOs, they not cops, bozo, we can get it on. I pulled up in your camera. Jay Rilla said, we would have got booked. They said we could have took it down the block. And TG said, you moving like ducking with police. I was with everything. Jay Rilla said, they wasn't jacking it in front of the courthouse. TG said, they did not say that, dummy. Jay Rilla said, you wasn't with everything because you ain't walked down the block, homie. We could have handled it like grown men. TG said, where you at, bro? You want to keep talking? Where you at? Jay Rilla said, and went around the corner and got it on. I'm posted, waiting on you. TG said, you keep saying scap here, like mine wasn't, oh. And then finally, the final post would be made by TG. He would write the caption saying, nobody touched me today, and was fully on that with everybody I saw, word of bro, and I tell them I'm smoking a dead first. And a couple of laughing emojis, watch this though, soon be free me with no worries. Hate to hear that. Y'all never on my type of time, y'all be pussy on soul, EBS, watch. And ain't too much to say. Obviously, the one thing I do say is if y'all really wanted to fight, y'all would have fought. I don't think anybody was scared, but also TG you gotta mature and understand the situation at hand right now. I understand what lifestyle he signed up for, but he's going out of his way to try to prove something when he doesn't have to. The whole fifth of the sev is basically locked up at this point. It's just TG. You got Kenzo Bolo recently getting locked up. TG's the only one that's really left. There's a couple rappers here and there. I ain't trying to disrespect nobody else that raps, but a lot of them are locked up, and TG really needs to hold it down while Kenzo Bull is locked up for the moment. We don't know when he's coming home, but just like Kenzo did last year when TG went in, TG needs to hold it down. I hate the way he talks that it soon be free me. He said that a couple times before, but I really hope he values his life and values his freedom and does his best to stay out the way and just get to the money and stay out the Bronx. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments down below. I'm gonna get up to it. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Keep doing y'all. Keep doing me. Be safe. Stay dangerous. Good.